And today on Have an Eye Day, we're going to be delving into the halls of the discontinued and we're pulling out this cold steel knife. Now, for some of you, you already know what this is. I have been looking for this knife for such a long time. And I tell you what, man, cold steel has this beautiful line of knives that they did, of course, before I started collecting knives. So they're, you know, the only place you're gonna find them is at uh, Arizona Custom Knives or eBay, okay? They had this uh, black and chrome accented knife series. Oh, damn, they're so beautiful, beautiful blades. And uh, I, I went on to eBay, I put in my search, I cast my line out there, and this came up and I picked it up in a heartbeat. Bam, picked it up. So I've seen some reviews on this and one guy was like, ah, oh, I didn't like the uh, ergonomics, uh, the thumb stud which gives me no problem. <laughs> That's right. I love the ergonomics of this. I, I can completely utilize the thumb studs on this. And look at that. That mirrored blade, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous knife. And the ergonomics, this is not a light knife. And it's by no means, you know, overly cumbersome either. Man, when it's in your hand, oh, man, it feels incredible. It feels incredible. And I really, really beautiful. like it. I did have to uh, clean up. I, I removed this. I cleaned it out. I put in some oil. I put a little bit of blue Loctite, and I cinched it down. But when I'm operating this, uh -huh, you're going to put me wrong. Watch. There we go. It was just the angle of the dangle was getting in my way. Look at that. This is a solidly built knife. Uh, right and left, tip up carry only, carry option. Need to get in there and clean that out a little bit. I did add a lanyard because I like lanyards. And if you don't, well, I'm not gonna force you to get one. That's right. So let's take a look at the blade itself. Besides being a beautiful mirror, we'll see this, this <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of speechless. Um, we have this curve, which is great for lashing, slashing. And then we look at this tanto tip incorporated into it. So if, you, if you're you you know fighting with a bear and it's wearing a winter coat, maybe um, Paddington the bear has gotten hopped up on meth and he's coming at you and he's got a knife. Well, if you were to take this and attack uh, the bear, this would penetrate uh, the, the clothing and uh, help you to fight off the bear. Don't go fight bears. This brought to you as a <laughs> a PSA from Have a Knife Day. Don't get into knife fights with bears. It's not going to end well. And with that being said, so this is the Black Sable San Mai 3. I got this on eBay. Uh, the, and this is made in Japan. So that I do believe that would be Seki Japan. Fantastic. Oh man, I, I wish, I wish we could uh, get, go back in time. I miss the old cold steel. I know some of you are okay with the acquisition of GSM, but uh, I didn't live very far away from their location when it was over in Ventura. And I really enjoyed going to those uh, parking lot events to, uh, you know, talk to the fellow cold steel cultists. <laughs> And our love of cold steel knives and eat barbecue and just have a good time. So here is the Black Sable. Thank you, eBay. Um, I've been looking at this. I, I put a search on eBay, basically like casting out a line. And I got a snag and this came up. Grabbed it up as quickly as I could. So I'm going to read to you. <laughs> I'm uh, looking at a website. It, it, is, uh, it has a K and a C in it, and it's not KFC. Discontinued model CS60BS black sable with 4.0 inch Sanmai 3 blade micarta handle. Cold steel incorporated. Your friends may turn a pronounced shade of green 
with envy that is. The first time you snap open your new black sable and they start eyeing that magnificent mirror polished blade. Of course they'll plead with you to hand it over for closer inspection and of course they'll immediately want to know where they can get one of their own. We all like to be in the spotlight now and then and when you're the proud owner of a cold steel black sable, not only will you have a finely crafted folder, you'll also have bragging rights that will last for years. Consider the blade, made of hollow ground, San Mai 3 stainless steel, and hand polished to a mere shine. Even the most jaded eyes will find it fascinating. But a cold steel blade is more than just a homage to style. This blade has enough substance to be frightfully effective. Every feature from its curved upswept blade to its acute reinforced point has been judiciously chosen to maximize cutting and piercing power. Just running your thumb over its razor sharp edge will tell you this is something to be reckoned with. But no folder can stand on the merits of its blade alone. That's why Cold Steel spared no expense or effort in making sure every other component corresponds to the blade in quality and performance. The distinctively shaped pistol grip handle features a titanium frame overlaid with highly polished black micarta sails and forged titanium bolsters that have been matched together and bolted inseparably to the frame with the latest high-tech fasteners. To protect the fingers from the unintentional closure of the blade, the black sable has been fitted with cold steel state-of-the-art rocker lock. A highly refined locking mechanism perfected by cold steel over the last 18 years that relies on extra strong springs, super close tolerances, and other secret refinements that make it equal, if not superior in strength, to any other lock on the market. For carrying and operating convenience, Black Sable comes complete with dual mirror polish pocket clips for ambidextrous operation and double thumb studs for rapid deployment. The specifications, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember, if you want to thank a vet for his service, click that subscribe button and push that little bell. Ding-a-ling. Specifications. Overall length, 9.875 inches. Blade length, 4 inches. Blade thickness, 3.5 millimeter. Blade steel, sand my three stainless steel. Handle length, 5.875 inches. Handle material, titanium frame with micarta scale overlays. Bolsters, titanium. Carrying mechanism, dual mirror polish pocket clip. And why do I say that? And how do I know it's true? It's because it was written down. That's right. <laughs> and that's good enough for me in this instance. Oh... It is just such a joy to be able to own one of these. Oh, my stars and garters. My goodness. My goodness. Man, what a treat. What a treat. So, which discontinued cold steel is on your wish list? When you, uh, when you close your eyes at night to sleep and a Ferrari uh, pulls up, and the door opens and out steps the cold steel black sable. That's right, that's the, the, that's the center fold right there, my friends. I really, really enjoy this knife. There you go, I'm gonna put a ring on it, gonna marry it, gonna have little knife babies with it. Maybe not, but man, this is beautiful. I keep on wanting to wipe it clean because this is a mirror. Wow. So what do you think? Don't you wish that Cold Steel would uh, do this again? I don't know. Um, I, I'm holding back on uh, the post uh, Cold Steel Ventura knife purchases. Uh, they're, of course, purchased uh, by GSM. I'm uh, waiting and watching. But I tell you what, in the halls of Discontinued, on uh, places like uh, eBay and Arizona Custom Knives, there are little gems like this waiting to be forever homed. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really, I really do appreciate it. You can go anywhere you want, but you're here with me talking about knives. Thank you so very much. And as always, have a knife day.